Midjourney just released the first update for version 7, and we're going to break it all down for you. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell. Make sure to like and comment. At the top of your creation page, you'll notice a little lightning bolt icon. That's now draft mode for quick image generation. Click it, type your prompt, and let's try something. A futuristic cityscape with flying cars. And you'll see just how fast draft mode works. It's impressive. Check this one out. Look how interesting it is. Another change is how the upscaling feature works. It's completely different now. Hover over an image generated in draft mode and you'll see options like very subtle, very strong, and enhance. If you click enhance instead of rerunning the entire prompt with a standard algorithm, it focuses only on that specific image. See? Now you get four slightly enhanced versions of that single image. This new enhanced mode actually tweaks your image less than the very subtle option, but ideally it's still an improvement over the original. You can see the results are quite different. It's definitely enhancing something. While we're here, you'll also spot a new feedback system that's been added. It might not stick around forever, but for now, you can give Midjourney direct feedback on your creations. Just rate whether you like it, dislike it, or feel neutral using these shortcuts. Three for neutral, two for negative, and one for positive. You can also find the Enhance button by clicking on one of your images, then scrolling down to More. If you don't see it, make sure to click More Options, then Additional Actions. That's where the button is for now. So we've covered Draft Mode and Enhance. Now check this out. They've renamed the other Draft Mode feature, and it's now called Conversation Mode, which makes way more sense, let's be honest. Click it, and the prompt box changes letting you refine your images by chatting with a large language model. Try something like, could I see an image of a cooking robot? Oh yes, look at that. A robot chef preparing a delicious meal with all sorts of utensils. Great images. Since we're in conversation mode, let's see if we can add more elements. Try, can we add more ingredients? Let's make one image with fresh veggies, another with aromatic spices, and a third with a chocolate cake in progress. What's amazing about conversation mode is you can ask for multiple images at once and it'll generate three different creations. Isn't that awesome? Let's try something else. Can you combine them all into one lively kitchen scene? Create a photo with all the culinary elements together. Ah, this is fun. It's not exactly the individual pieces we just made, but it's still really interesting. And you can see where the AI is headed. Just ask for what you want and it'll get more and more precise. Now let's move to another feature. Tile mode, double dash tile. This lets you create seamless patterns. Important note, tile mode doesn't work in draft mode right now. You'll need to turn off draft mode, then in your prompt, type whatever you want, followed by double dash tile. Tile mode works great with different image formats. Try wide ones, tall ones, experiment with settings. Then just Google a seamless pattern checker, take your generated image, save or copy it, drop it into the checker, and there you go. You've got your original image, and if you repeat it, you get a continuous pattern with no visible seams. Super handy, and I'm glad this feature is back in version seven. Don't forget, you can also click voice mode here and just talk to the AI. Say something like, can you design a poster for a cooking class and come up with a catchy name for it? Wait, what's this prompt it gave me? Okay, we know the text quality isn't perfect yet, but it's still impressive that you can just ask for this. My favorite V7 feature is back, Remix, for example. It was made with the prompt, 
futuristic vehicle image. If you look for the Remix option under More Options and click Strong Remix, it'll load the prompt into the dialog box. The only thing I suggest changing is the subject. We'll type a bunch of different subjects, a flying motorcycle, hit Confirm, and watch what Mid Journey does with Remix mode. It'll create images with a very similar style, but apply to different subjects. It won't be identical, but it'll be close and really cool. Sometimes the original lingers, but the results are still awesome. Always select Strong Remix for optimal results. The subtle option provides limited creative transformation. Try it. Hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.